Once we pulled into San Diego, we had about two weeks before the official end of Mexico's hurricane season. In those two weeks, we had a whole lot of maintenance we were trying to get complete before we left the country for good. After all of our time spent at anchor, our anchor chain was starting to get a little rusty. So we rented a car and took it in to have it re-galvanized. If you ever happen to rent a Hyundai Accent in San Diego whose trunk smells like dead yeah, fish, a... you're welcome. On our trip south, some of the stitching in our canvas had been blown apart. So Brenda took down the Dodger did a bit of restitching. Today we're servicing the engine. Got a, uh, a Yanmar 75 horsepower turbo diesel. It uh, lives under the floor in the pilot house and runs like a champ. We uh, installed this engine just a few years ago and, uh, and smoother, quieter, less weight than the old one and burns less fuel. Uh, and the old engine was a Perkins, a 46 horsepower, real oddball engine that we can never find parts for. And since we we're traveling around the world, I figured we might as well have something we could get parts for and, uh, and get some long life out of. So this is what we got. And it's been great so far. So today we're uh, changing the fuel filters, oil and filter, um, impeller for the raw water intake and uh, kind of adjust the valves. So I had quite a few questions about uh, our background, our, you know, how we learned to sail, um, you know, how we're able to do this trip, all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I thought while I'm working on the engine, I could kill a little time and answer some of those questions. So, I bought my first sailboat when I was 22. It was a Catalina 30, and I lived on it. Uh, didn't know anything about sailing. Just uh, thought it'd be fun to live on a boat. Um, so, kind of uh, picked up a lot of stuff along the way just by sailing with other people, made some friends, and uh, was crew on a bunch of race boats. And that's kind of how it all started. I met a guy who had uh, sailed from Maine to Seattle. This was just after I had uh, had the boat for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, and uh, told me he sailed all the way around South America. It took him two years to get to Seattle from Maine. He was going up to Alaska, then uh, down to Mexico, across the Pacific and just had this huge worldwide trip that uh, sounded pretty amazing. So at 22, I figured out that's what I was going to do with my life. And uh, it took me 20 years to get to the point where we could leave, but it was a 20-year plan that um, 
that I guess uh, stuck um, at 22. I don't think a lot of people live out uh, what they think they're going to do 20 years later, but uh, I was pretty fortunate, especially once I met Brenda. Um, because she was all on board. And that was 15 years ago I met her. Um, we've been liveaboards for the entire 15 years of being together. I guess for me it's been 20 years. I guess learned on the fly, still learning. Um, I guess you're never done learning. That's the joy of the whole thing. Background is in construction. I was a metal fabricator. It was kind of my specialty and uh, just general construction, I guess, really. But uh, we're not uh, any big shot, hide powered wealthy people. We just made a plan, we stuck to it, and then we left. That was the big thing. And here we are now, working on the boat, like always. 20 years later, that part never ends. So, this is the fuel filter. The secondary filter for uh, the Yanmar, it's kind of a pain in the butt. They're got this water sensor on the bottom, which I guess is handy, but it just means it's not an easy filter to get or replace. So we've got a few spares. And now we're using one of them. Uh, the other part of it, I guess this, the story is we've officially been full-time cruising and traveling for about two and a half years now, which uh, to me is kind of amazing. I feel pretty fortunate. Um, again, it took us 20 years to get here, but uh, um, it's been pretty incredible. Never really thought that uh, you know, 20 years ago when I started dreaming about it, I thought we'd be able to go for a year or two and go back to work. Um, but uh, we've been fortunate enough that uh, we're able to do this for a bit longer. We don't uh, know exactly how long, but uh, we're going to do as long as we can and as long as we're enjoying it, which at the moment we love it. One of the things that's been high on our list for months has been installing lazy jacks. So we picked up some line, spent the day splicing, and got it done. Since we still had the rental car, we made use of the trunk that smelled like dead fish and loaded up with enough provisions to make it down the Baja Peninsula of Mexico. And then we spent the next few hours trying to figure out a place to put it all. Today's water maker maintenance day. I'm going to swap out the membranes for new since uh, we're still in the states and have easy access to parts just in case I need something. Change the oil in the pump and uh, she'll be good as new. 
Um, this uh, water maker is something I put together just with off-the-shelf parts. It's not uh, not a name brand water maker, um, and uh, we make about 40 gallons an hour, which is pretty darn good. It's an AC motor, stainless steel cat pump. Um, like I said, all this stuff is off-the-shelf parts, so anywhere in the world, if we have trouble, I can uh, go to some local hardware store and and get it back together. Now it's time to do some maintenance and uh, make sure she keeps working for the long haul since uh, we're going to be out of the country for a number of years. Figured it was time to get it done. Since the whole point of cruising is supposed to be about having fun, we loaded up our rental car with the troops and went and saw the sights. Sure. Do you want to go on a submarine? Yeah, kind of. Since no extended voyage would be complete without a little Jimmy Buffett, we loaded up the dinghies to watch a Jimmy Buffett concert from the cheap seats. Are you excited? <laughs> we were joined by about 250 of our closest floating friends. <laughs> and of course, no time spent in a new town would be complete without getting the gang back together for a little ride.
two weeks we spent in San Diego went by pretty quickly. But Mexico was calling our name. It was time to move on. So join us next time as we set sail across the border and check in to Ensenada. <laughs>